Can you switch from a bachelor's in business to a master's of computer science? This is a great question, and I think I can answer this. So the short answer is yes, but I think under very specific circumstances that suit you. So the challenge with these two particular degrees is that they have different underlying corpuses of knowledge, and those really do matter, particularly in the technical side of computer science. So if you don't know me, I am Professor Dave Masek. I'm a professor of innovation strategy and entrepreneurship, and I created this whole reciprocity project to give back as much as I possibly can. So I made the transition from engineering to business. My undergrad was in engineering, and then I switched to business. So I understand this whole transitioning thing, and, you know, I tried to take a bunch of courses in econ and sociology and all this kind of stuff. And I completely understand where you're coming from and why you actually want to do that. Now, the issue, though, is do you actually have the underlying knowledge to switch to the program that you're looking at? So some programs are going to be very technically oriented, Right. And the technically oriented stuff are going to have to have, they're going to require you to understand some really important parts of computer science. So that transition is going to be very rough. Um, however, there's some programs within, you know, computer science or fields within computer science that are less technically oriented, right? So computer user interface, for example, I'm thinking about design with computers that's less technically um, oriented. And I'm sure there's programs out there that are doing that kind of stuff and thinking about the design. And so those programs would probably be okay with the transition but you're still gonna have to have some underlying knowledge of computer science that you're really gonna have to work on. And so there's gonna be, you're gonna have to take extra courses to make that transition to really think about how you're actually gonna make this transition. So you have to talk to the various different programs. Now, if you wanna go into cryptography or you know optimization or something like that from business, that's gonna be a really hard transition. And you're going to have to take an awful lot of courses to actually get there um, because of just the requirements, the technical understanding that you're going to require. And it's going to be a lot harder. So, however, some business programs around the country are really um, technically oriented than others, right? A lot more technically oriented from others. And if you take in, say you're in um, finance and, and you've taken a bunch of computer science already and a bunch of underlying courses in mathematics already, um, it's the transition's not going to be nearly as hard as you think it's going to be. And you're just probably going to have to take some programming courses to actually get there. But the thing is, you actually have to, what I would do to start the conversation is just have a conversation with the different administration um, or admission offices and ask them what they are looking for and just have that conversation with them and say, hey, would you take, would I be a viable applicant if I take a couple of extra courses in this particular area? People make these transitions all the time. It's not necessarily a big thing. Everybody understands that this happens. Um, and it's not necessarily all that rare in graduate school to see these transitions, but you have to have the requisite skills to go into the program that you are interested in. So. I went into, I was taking a bunch of graduate courses, PhD courses in economics. So my, um, I, I did engineering and, and I thought it was really good at mathematics. Turns out the, um, the mathematics that is in economics is really mathematical. The mathematics is really different from engineering mathematics to the economics mathematics that I was taking. And man, it was a real struggle to take those courses. It was brutal. Um, and so you have to think about what is, what's the difference that's going on there. And you might be thinking that I am strong at mathematics, but it's the type of mathematics or the type of programming and the type of knowledge that really matters. And so you have to have to um, talk to them about what, where you are, what you're thinking about with the style of, um, you know, mathematics. Th that's going to be a big thing. Um, and also the style of programming that they are looking for and what they've actually done. So if you're going to a less technical kind of program in computer science, a master's in design or something, 
you know, you'll probably be fine. Um, you probably have to definitely take some courses though before you get in there. But if you're going to something really specific, that's about, um, you know, machine learning, for example, there is the mathematics gets pretty hard uh, and you have to be just prepared for that transition so that you understand what they're talking about. Um, and it might seem like that's an easy transition, but you need to have that core understanding before you make that transition. So it's just easier. I thought I was good enough um, to make that transition coming from a strong, very strong engineering program at the University of Waterloo. Um, but it was a struggle. It was really hard. Um, and, you know, the other people that sort of did the transition straight through economics didn't struggle as much as I did. So um, just have that understanding coming in. What is the core understanding that you need to just stay with what everybody else is doing, right? Like just having that core understanding is really, really important. All right, take care and have a wonderful day.